All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? How is it going? I'm Is There No One Else? And in today's video, I, I was asked to do a quick video on, on how to improve armor. I did a video yesterday talking about how to get a potentially close to best in slot 700 gear score weapon. And uh, yeah, people asked about gear. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing. Now, <laughs> be careful, guys. I'm, I'm sitting on a massive amount of coin over here. I'm, I'm at 3,000 gold. I, I'm very light. Uh, in the gold department, I'm doing everything as cheaply as possible because I'm just getting back into the game. I took a five, six month break. I'm coming back. I'm really enjoying the patch, but yeah, I my gear is old and it's outdated. And so uh, I, I don't have the gold to spend on a bunch of different things. And so here's what I'm doing. So um, gear is relatively easy to find. I'll do the the Overland PVE is, is easy enough to understand. When you pick up loot boxes and stuff, when you do the main quest line or whatever, you're going to get a better drop of gear typically than what you have. Just equip it. The higher your gear score is, the better your loot drops are going to be. You continue to do that until you find better and better armor pieces, better and better drops, better and better traits, and away you go. From a PvP perspective, when you're trying to level everything up, uh, your traits are actually better because when you go into OPRs and when you go into 3v3s, all of your gear scales up to 675 already. So if you look at this, uh, this is an old helmet. I I am traditionally a pack rat in MMOs. I think it's it's always served me well because when even though things aren't good at one point in time, sometimes other things get nerfed, other things get buffed, it's worth having. So I kept all of the shirking heel stuff from six months ago in my inventory on the off chance that it ever gets buffed. And look where we're at. Shirking heels has now been buffed. Uh, uh, stacking with health and everything those are two of the best traits that you can get on gear in the game and the pvp tracks all drop specialty named items that have health and shirking heals and so this is 610 gear score but when i go into 3v3s and oprs it's scaled to 675 uh, i got the chest uh, but then i also as i've been doing pvp i got this chest so this what's the difference between this and the name chest well this will be 675 outside of 3v3s and OPRs as well. So uh, in those 3v3 departments, this is no different than what I would normally get. Uh, my gloves are 615, scales up to 675. And so I kept all my normal gear and I just did 3v3s and OPRs and I did the reward tracks. Now, as you do uh, PvP tracks, you're going to get different types of gear and you can decide whether it's worth having or not. You see this one has a 684 gear score, health, sturdy energy, and vigor for a heavy chest piece. It's not bad. I mean, it's not a terrible option. Um, I just got this drop, uh, the last PvP track. I got the 680 Helm of the Bear, which is the heavy armor shirking heels helmet. Health, shirking heels, refreshing ward. And so that's what I've been doing. I've been PvPing with my 675 gear stuff items. I picked up all of the artifacts I wanted. So I got the tumbler feet wraps. I got the finisher, a rapier, and I got ank. And so those give me 700. And so with everything at 675 and with all my other items at 700, I actually have like a 688 gear score in 3v3s and OPRs. And so I'm not under geared in that situation, at least not too terribly. And so I've done all this for free. I, I do what I like to do. I like to play PvP and I get my gear. And so I bought these as well in, in the PvP reward track. Health, shirking heels, refreshing ward. This one as well. And so I actually got a decent pair of go through what I've other items I've gotten. Uh, I got a decent pair of like freedom boots, if I remember correctly. Here they are. Health, refreshing, and freedom for dex medium boots. Not bad. Not bad. I picked so all this different gear that I've gotten is 675 to 680. The only thing I haven't gotten a good drop for yet is gloves. And so uh, gloves and, and an earring. I'm st I still have my 625 earring that I'm running. And so this is how I've been doing it. I've just been keeping the gear that I was running before. That way all my traits stay the same and just get scales up to 675. And when I get better armor pieces that go over 675, I equip them. And so uh, if you do what I've been doing, you will have your three artifacts, whatever they are, whether it's the legs, the boots, whatever. Uh, you'll get your weapon, and that'll be 700, and then you'll get your jewelry, amulet, to, amulet or ring if you want to run it. That'll be 700. And then if you do what I said, if you copy what I did before, and you craft your syncretic weapon, if it's good enough for you, that'll be 30,000. And then all your other gear, you just buy with Azoth Salt as you do 3v3s and OPRs. And you just level everything up as you go. And uh, for 30,000 gold, I'm at like 688, 689 gear score in PvP by just playing the game and not really investing any further. Now, 
With that being said, I wanted to give you guys other resources. This is what I'm doing. I'm doing the bare bones minimum. Like this is how I'm leveling up my gear. Uh, Micro, I will provide a link to his channel in my comment in my comment section if you guys want to go check it out. He did a really good video a few weeks ago talking about the best in slot armor traits, and he brings up he brought up in a video that the. Uh, PvP gear is actually really good. So health is like one of the best traits you can... Oh my gosh, bud, be quiet. Uh, so, the, so the PvP gear, if you want to invest in the gold, is actually pretty solid. So health is the best trait, refreshing is a good trait, enchanted ward is also a good trait. So uh, this gear is actually solid to get, but if you look here, it's 15,500 uh, Marauders tokens plus 4,500 gold. So this is 4,500, the chest 6,750, the gloves 3,500, so that's 10, 14, 5, uh, 20,000, 22,000. Like, you're looking at 20,000 plus gold in order to get the full armor set, uh, which isn't bad. It's it's not expensive. Like, this would be a good starting point if you're doing, like, uh, overland open world pvp like non 3v3 non opr if you're trying to do the influence races and stuff this might be a good option for you to pick up but if you don't want to spend twenty thousand gold because you want to save your gold somewhere else you could do what i've been doing and yeah i uh i've been doing that i got the champion's amulet as well uh, it's for 680 i just need to get a better ring basically and so that's the route that i've been going i i've been going this route um and then finally the other thing that you want to do is Come over here to the gypsum kiln, and I, I did talked about this in the video I did yesterday, but there might be an item for you that is best in slot for whatever you're trying to run. And so uh, when you do, let me, let me back out one, one way. When you do your season three tracks, uh, as you do these things, they'll give you at one point what is called, uh, I think it's called materia, if I remember correctly. And so, yeah, so you'll get materia as you do your, your champion, your season tracks, they'll give you like boxes that'll have like 3,500 materia for specific, uh, expeditions. And what you can use that stuff for is you can buy, or you can make some of these, some of these weapons or some of the, now what I decided to do, and I talked about it in the last video is I got to find it. Sorry guys. I think it's up here. I crafted the soul pollen ring. And so the soul pollen ring, because I'm a dex main, uh, it has leeching and it has thrust damage. So it already has thrust damage on top of it. It has leeching and then I rolled a third perk. And so I, I got 3,500 materia from the rewards track. I used it to craft this and it rolled a 700 with leeching, thrust damage and hardy, which is like best in slot for me specifically. And so I was able to find a ring that was really good for me. And I also got a 700 gear score there. So those are the things I recommend. I recommend if you're doing overland stuff, just keep improving your gear. You know, maybe don't flag up for PVP if you don't have the best traits. Like if you don't want to get slaughtered right away, don't do that. Uh, if you're if you're coming back to the game after a long break, keep your old stuff. If the traits are solid, it'll scale to 675 for 3v3s and OPRs. Continue to upgrade through the PvP tracks as you go. Farm for your artifacts. They're they're free 700. They're 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 free 700 guys. Like you should you should definitely try and get the artifacts you want to get. Uh, those are important. And then yeah, watch my other video on the Socratic weapon. And then the other options, like I said, is you do. You could check the faction gear, see if that's worth investing in for you specifically. Uh, go watch Micro's video on the best trait armor. You can go look at New World Database and then also look in the gypsum kiln here and see if there's something worth crafting. So I can come down here. I, there was a ring that I was looking at. This one doesn't look bad. I don't know what my third roll would be, but healthy toast, nimble. Like if I got healthy toast, nimble, um, and then like refreshing, this would be a pretty solid earring for me to roll up to 700. So uh, just as an option, and you see we have 3,500 materia here for the Lazarus. If you look at some of this other gear, sturdy energy and thrust conditioning, not great for me. It's heavy armor. I don't want to run heavy armor, so I'm not going to get that gear. Uh, hamstring, 670 crippling and keen awareness. Uh, not for me, not for me, but soul pollen obviously was. And so, yeah, you guys can look through this stuff as you do your PVP tracks. Uh, last thing, I'm sorry. Whelps. Uh, has a really good video on how to level up your PvP tracks really quickly. There's an entire system to go about doing it. Uh, you could 
you can level this up really, really quickly and get all this stuff to craft your gear even faster. I'll provide a link to that video as well. Uh, he's He said it way better than I could. It's already out there. I'm not going to make another video just like it for the sake of doing it. But yeah, level up your PvP tracks, get your materia, craft the best in slot expedition items, and yeah, you'll be on your way to 700. So hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this wasn't too much rambling for you guys, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. Those are some cheaper options for you until you get the money to buy like best in slot for your specific roles. So yeah, that's gonna be it in this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, please provide in the section below. As always guys, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.